Welcome to day three at Oshkosh 2023. Here in Joby Aviation's trailer with Greg Bowles of Joby Aviation, talking about their simulator and what the EV tall market looks like for Joby in the future. So, Greg, first, thank you very much for uh, taking the opportunity to speak with us. So, Greg, what, what is exactly that you do at Joby? Hey, it's really good to see you, Rex. Um, so, obviously, one of the biggest questions we hear from folks every time we talk about electric aircraft and EV toll is how do you certify these things? How are they going to operate? How do they fit into the system? What about this regulation and these policies? And so that's a really important part. And so that's the work that we do. So we have a great policy team that help to make sure the FAA, EASA, the key regulators around the world understand that this is a really fundamental time. We are at the birth of the electric age of aviation. And it's a time we all need to lean in and make sure the policy structure is supportive and going to help us all succeed. So in the grand scheme of things, what is it you're trying to accomplish here today with the simulators? Yeah, so at Oshkosh, you know, this is the fundamental place for aviation. It's kind of the burning man uh, for aviation. Being able to talk with aviators that have flown in, people that love aviation, let them give us their feedback, see what we can do at Joby, what electric aviation means is really fundamental. And in the future, those folks will be able to explain to their friends who look up, look upon them for aviation knowledge and insight that yes, companies like Joby and this world of electric aviation is a really exciting thing and it's going to transform all of us in the future. So with the uh, Joby aircraft, it's not here, but we do have the simulator. You've done quite a bit of testing so far, and it's actually uh, several years and several different uh, reiterations. Tell me a little bit about the history right now of Joby and what the future looks like. Yeah, we first flew our full-scale all-electric EV toll back in 2017, and we began doing transition flights and, and lots of flights around the airspace. Um, for several years, we flew those first-generation aircraft. Uh, we built a second-generation aircraft that we've been flying for many years, since about 2019. And today, recently, we've rolled off the final generation of the aircraft. The production-type aircraft are coming off the line. We're starting to work with the Air Force to position those aircraft for logistical work. Early next year, you'll start to see um, really exciting things happening on the DOD side and we're racing towards civil operations in 2025 just two short years away we'll all be able to start operating these aircraft and flying on these aircraft and I can't wait for the ability to fly here at Oshkosh. Now I would say that there's definitely a growing presence at Oshkosh in the electric aviation EV tall, e stall, EC tall so I, yeah, I look forward to the day that we actually have a footprint for that space. Um, in looking at Moving forward, sounds like you got a lot of opportunities for people out there, so you're looking for some talent? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think people are real passionate. We have such smart people in aviation. We have such smart young people that are getting into aviation and amazing jobs. We have a huge list of people we need to join Joby, which is really exciting, so please take a look at the website. In addition, we're starting to find the need for mechanics and maintainers, the need for pilots, so many new folks coming into aviation. The future is really, really bright, and we're really excited uh, how, how electric pulls people in in these new ways. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller.